Hello, everyone. My name is Gisela Lawi. I am the Community Education Coordinator for the Perinatal Addiction Prevention Project at the Partnership for Maternal and Child Health of the Northern New Jersey. Today, I will share with you information about how stress is a key factor in addiction initiation, difficulty maintaining sobriety, relapse, and treatment failure. While it may not be possible to eliminate stress in our lives, we must find healthy ways to manage it. Here, I will provide for you 10 tips for how to cope with stress during this time. Many life events can trigger stress, especially during this time. We're dealing with an outbreak of an infectious disease, as you all know. We may have lost our jobs, we are stressed about our financial insecurity and the risk of losing loved ones during this pandemic. We may be experiencing physical and verbal abuse at home, relieving past traumas, or stressed out with the demands of the workplace. Or we just been feeling extremely overwhelmed, anxious, and worried about the future at this time. The more stressed an individual with poor coping skills is exposed to, the greater the chances is to give in to impulses like smoking, overeating, using alcohol and drugs. High levels of stress cause changes in the brain, decreasing gray matter volume associated with cognitive control and stress regulation. The stress can make an individual feel anxious, angry, fearful, depressed, sad, and overwhelmed. As a result, you may have difficulty thinking, having trouble concentrating and making, and, and you can make the wrong decisions. The prefrontal cortex that is involved in making good decisions is completely shut down by stress. A strained brain loses its ability to reason and becomes automatic. People's stress are more prone to give in to impulses to cope with daily stress. One explanation about strong link between stress and addiction is self-medication. This impacts the risk of addiction. Alcohol and drugs can be used to cope with tensions connected with life stressors and are often used to deal with emotions and to soothe this stress. It is important to find ways to manage stress to reduce the risk of addiction or relapse. Here are some suggestions. Let's replace our negative thoughts with positive ones. Take a break to focus on a positive theme in your life, like the connection you have with your loved ones. Practicing gratitude. We have so much to be thankful for. Take a mental health breaks. Try to time out what is causing you stress, pace yourself between stressful activities and do something fun after a hard work is done. Exercise regularly. It can reduce stress, improve both your mood and your physical health and your mental health decreases fatigue and increases your concentration. Eat healthy foods and drink plenty of water. Avoid having caffeine, sugary drinks, drugs and alcohol. Start a journal. Write down your thoughts, feelings and experiences. It may help avoid trigger to relapse. Seek assistance. You don't have to do it alone. There's a lot of social supports promoting mental health. At this time, they have many virtual meetings, such as AA and NA. Seek peer-to-peer, -peer, a friend or a religious leader if you have one. Talk your feelings through. Use time off to relax, read books, watch movies, listen to music, take a bath, take a deep breath, meditate, engage yourself in pleasurable hobbies, and most important, get plenty of sleep. Help others in need if you can during this pandemic. Remember, when you're helping others, you're also helping yourself. During this pandemic, get reliable information and learn about the outbreak and how you can protect yourself against illnesses if you are, if you are at risk. You can turn to your family doctor or your health and health department for more information. Set limits in the time you spend watching, reading and listening to the news about the outbreak. 
you may want to be updated on what's happening with the progression of the pandemic and what your local officials are recommending at this time. But remember, don't overdo it. Please, in this, in this slide, you will find resources on where to find websites to learn more about addiction and to find treatment locations. For more information, please reach out at the partnership for maternal and child health of the Northern New Jersey. Thank you and stay safe.